Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Stephanie May. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So sorry if my voice is a little bit like nasally because I've had a cold and that's why I didn't upload yesterday. I do want to let you guys know that Stephanie May Daily is actually going to be going until the 3rd of June because I have missed three days because I've been sick um, over the past month. So I'm going to make up for it and I'm going to be uploading every single day for the next week until the 3rd of June. So look forward to the rest of that. I'm sorry when I haven't been able to upload like yesterday. I just... I can't create content when I'm not feeling well. It's just not really happening. Anyway, I just realized the other day that I have never actually done the what's in my handbag tag. And I think that that's kind of like one of the most common tags that like any beauty guru has ever done on the whole entire of the internet. So I feel like I should probably do that for you guys. So I thought I would sit here today and take you through what's in my handbag. So this is my baby here. It is the Philip Lim Medium Pashley bag. Um, this is a bag that I wanted for years. I remember when I was like in high school, I'd look on Netta Porter and I'd see all like, the girls, um, all the bloggers like carrying all these classic black and gold bags. And I just really, really wanted one my entire life. And then finally, I remember last year I got um, a really big payment from Maybelline when I did a commercial sort of thing for them. And I spent a lot of that paycheck on this handbag. So this was about $1,000, I think it was $900, which is crazy. Like I do not suggest spending that much money on a handbag, um, but it is definitely one of the cheaper of the um, designer handbags that you can get your hands on. It's no Givenchy, it's no $5,000 Givenchy. Um, it's just a classic black bag. It's got these amazing zippers down the front which do do up or down so you can have it more compact if you like, but I kind of like to have it open. And I'm not gonna lie, I probably haven't treated this bag with the amount of respect that it deserved. I kind of just forgot how much money it cost after a while and just started throwing it in the corner and I have got a little bit of um, cracked um, cracked detailing here and it's not really in the best condition it's still in very good condition but it's not in as good as it could be I think if I had looked after it but you know what if I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars on a handbag I'm gonna get use out of it I'm not gonna sit it in the corner in a bag and just like let it sit there so it doesn't get dust on it I'm going to use it so that is my handbag and when it comes to the insides of my handbag I honestly have no idea I'm the type of person who just kind of shoves everything in and never really takes anything out so um, I don't really know what's gonna be in here there's gonna be a lot of random stuff in here there'll probably be a lot of lipsticks in here um, but yeah we're about to find out so first thing delving in is a jumper of sorts it's like a blazer I actually find that this handbag looks a lot better when it is full so like when it's got something in it so it's full to the brim um, when it doesn't have anything in it I feel like it can sometimes look a little bit flat and like these don't really look as good so I like to make sure it's always like full so I put this um little black target um, blazer in there that I never wear anymore and it just sort of like fills out the bag a lot so I often lose clothes in my handbag and I never know what is in there so that's the first thing Second thing I'm reaching for is some quinoa, random. Um, I put this in there, I think, when I was going to work, so I'd have something to eat for work. So yeah, I have handbag quinoa, so I'll never go hungry. That's always a good thing to keep in your handbag. Um, I then have some classic tampons, because you know, these things happen. Oh, I have my wallet. Um, I should probably tell you about this. Um, this is the Louis Vuitton, just sort of classic um, purse. This was actually a gift to me from um, a makeup brand that I was working with last year for um, my birthday. So that was super, super kind of them. I did not expect that at all. And um, yeah, it's, once again, I probably don't treat it with as much respect as I should, but I just love it and I take it everywhere. It's so handy. So inside, what have I got? Some Glory Jeans coffee cards. Got a Medicare card, doctor card, my Opal card so I can catch the train and the buses. Got my driver's license, not that I ever use that anymore. My work discount card, got my debit card, and I've got a million receipts in here and I think they're all from taxis, yep. MCABS Australia, Opera Bar, I had, what did I have? I had something from Opera Bar, probably a cocktail, and also, Okay, if you guys aren't from Australia and you've never seen Australian money, these are like the new $5 notes. They're so pretty, very plastic and see-through. Anyway, this is one of the first ones that ever came out because I've recently changed um, our money around and I put this in my wallet in the back of it where it'd stay flat and this is one of the first ones ever made. It's in the first batch and I feel like it's going to be worth a bit of money one day. So I've just been keeping it stored away in the back of my wallet, which I feel like I shouldn't do. I feel like I should put it like somewhere else because I'm more likely to lose my wallet. Oh, and I also have my house key. 
because I lost my actual key ring and now the only key I own is this key, so very responsible of me. I suppose I should show you my phone as well. This is my phone. It is a classic um, iPhone 7 with the rose gold back and I have on it, I recently actually dropped it on the laundry floor and smashed the screen. Not too bad, but I smashed the screen again. I am famous for smashing screens. And Sephora actually recently sent me this um, phone case and so I've been wrapping the Sephora around everywhere and I actually went to Sephora the other day and I was taking photos in there of some like the products and then I just realized I was literally going around Sephora like, oh my god, Sephora. I look like a mad like Sephora fangirl. Next up I have a book. This is from I think Kiki K. I got this ages ago. It says Live Bright and it just has a whole heap of really cute pages on it and I kind of always like to keep it in my handbag because um, if I'm ever thinking about something, it's actually like the funniest things. This has been going for so long. I think actually probably since I started my YouTube channel and I've literally got like all these lists at the start from when I first started. I've got like Monday 6pm, her fashion box, first impressions. Saturday morning, 9am, Maybelline, new products, first impressions. Oh my gosh, I've got my 10,000 subscriber giveaway and Q&A written in here. Oh, I've even got like outfit plans for like what videos I'm gonna do. I'm not that planned. I just wake up now and I'm just like, what am I going to do today? <laughs> then I've got my vlog camera. Um, I like to carry this around in my handbag just in case. Um, but let's be honest, I like to have a vlog anyway, so there's no real point of having it there. But I like to kind of just keep this as like the place where it lives, so I always know where it is. Um, this is, if you're ever wondering or wanting to get a vlog camera, this is the Canon G7X. And it's super nifty because it flips up like this and you can see yourself when you're filming. So if I'm ever like looking up, and away from everyone it's because I'm looking at myself I try not to but um sometimes you just can't resist it's so nifty it's such a nifty little camera if you guys are looking for a vlog camera this is like the be all and end all of vlog cameras I'm actually gonna list down below a link to where you can buy both my handbag and also that camera and anything else maybe my wallet as well I'll just list it all down below so you guys can find where you can purchase them getting into makeup now I have a MAC mineralized skin finish powder in the shade light this is just a really like classic um, light powder because you know powder is like a standard thing that you should keep in your handbag forever. Also on the same trail as powder I have a Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender. So this is super nifty if you guys haven't seen these. Um, it's made of the same fabric as Beauty Blender but they're these little like flat things here and you can just use them to um, blot your face when you're like at the club at night or like if you're having like just getting a bit oily you can just grab these really easily and blot yourself away works so much better than getting like toilet paper from the bathroom um, so these are really handy to keep in your handbag and you can also wash them and dry them so they're so much easier because they are reusable then I have my lanyard from the Baywatch premiere the other day um, from the Australian premiere. If you haven't seen the vlog, I'll link that actually right now. It was really, really fun. Um, and we saw Zac Efron, the love of our lives. Sadly, we didn't get to actually talk to him, but we saw him and that was enough. Um, and we got these like white lanyards and it was actually crazy because um, there was different colored lanyards and the white ones actually meant that you were meant to get photos taken by the photographers. It was so the photographers knew who was media and who was just like, you know, just there to watch it. Um, and so we had to go on the media wall, me and Kat, and it was the most intense thing I've ever experienced. You literally like, you would take a photo and then you would like take a step and then you take another photo and you take a step and you take another photo. And it was literally just like paparazzi just taking photos of everyone. And they have no idea who you are, but they like take your photo just in case you're someone important and they don't realize. Me and Kat were just like shuffle, pose, shuffle, pose. Then I have a Priceline Pharmacy $5 off um, Proactive. So I don't think I'll be using that, but in there. I have a um, picture from when I was at the, um, what was the event called? Call for Summer recently. It was like a um, Powered by Amplify. Um, it was sort of like a YouTube festival sort of thing where you could do meetups and stuff. And I went to that and I met a few of you guys and it was a really good day but it was just like really, really random. And we got some photos in the photo booth. I also have my ticket to Call for Summer so that's still in there. I have some Nurofen, <laughs> lots of meds in here. Nurofen empty, clearly getting too many headaches lately. I have um, Dimatuck, which is like cold and flu medication because if you can't tell I'm a bit sniffly. Um, some used up Gaviscon, clearly I never clean out my handbag ever. An old receipt um, from Target for <laughs> Pascal pineapple lumps. Um, have you guys tasted Pascal pineapple lumps? They are so good. They're like these pineapple lollies covered in chocolate. 
oh my god it's so good and um, they're from um, New Zealand I think I think they're like a New Zealand thing but they are delicious thumbs up if you like pineapple lumps because girl if you haven't tasted them you need them in your life I have a brush just a standard little like fluffy brush which I feel like you can use to fix up your bronzer or you can fix up your powder you can fix up anything with a little fluffy brush so that's just a standard one that I always keep in there just in case I have a hula bronzer this is a very well loved hula bronzer um, just in case I'm feeling like I need to touch up my bronzer I have a power bank and I don't have a power cord so kind of pointless but yeah the thought was there the thought is all that counts I have three lip products here I have first of all um, a Too Faced melted matte liquefied matte lipstick and this is in the shade child scar child star this is actually one of my favorite um, liquid lipsticks this color is just really really um, really really wearable I think it's really good for when you want to look fancy and also works when you want to look casual so I like to keep that in my handbag because it's one of my like most standard ones that I wear um, and it's kind of like a velvet teddy sort of color but a little bit more pink I think and it's very very good so if you're looking for a melted matte lipstick I would definitely recommend that one I also have a NARS I don't even know when I wore this I would have just chucked it in when I wore it uh, velvet lip glide um, velour in the shade playpen so it's just like a sort of like pinky color not really the biggest fan of this color not gonna lie but um apparently I was the day I wore it and I have um, max cream cup so I think I threw this in there the other day actually um, I've been wearing it a lot lately so it hasn't been in there for long um, but I would have just popped it in there so I could touch up later this is my favorite MAC lipstick of all time MAC cream cup if you haven't tried MAC cream cup you need it in your life um, other than Ruby Woo and Rebel they're like my three favorites of all time they're amazing okay we really are down to the dregs now I have a pink sharpie I don't know why but I have a pink sharpie some Optrex rehydrating eye drops for dry eyes um, and I have <laughs> I have a little like um, Smurfs little um, pin thing from when me and Josh went to Luna Park um, recently I have my passengers copy of my ticket for collecting my luggage from Tamworth on the 23rd of December last year so I hope I'm guessing I collected my luggage without it and finally I have a little Bath and Body Works um, um, hand sanitizer the funny story is um there's actually only one I think one maybe two um, Bath and Body Works in Australia and it's at actually the airport so if you want to actually get something from Bath and Body Works you have to go into the airport and like go through security and then go purchase something um, and I just remember when I was younger I used to watch all of these like YouTube videos and people doing like what's in my handbag videos and stuff and they would always have like Americans would always have Bath and Body Works um, sanitizers so I was like I want to get some sanitizer so when I went into Bath and Body Works I was like I can't go to the airport and not get something from Bath and Body Works and so I was like I'm just gonna buy some sanitizer and I feel really unsanitary because I've actually never opened this Ooh, maybe that's why I'm sick there is a first time for everything mm, brush so that is my handbag completely empty as you can see inside it's just like classic handbag a few little like nail polish stains on the bottoms because I don't really look after it like I should and there's a little like extra little pouch in there that has nothing in it and that is my handbag that's what's in my handbag so much lighter now so I really hope you guys enjoyed getting a little sneaky peek into my personal life. I actually really love watching um, people's um, what's in their bag videos because I'm just a really nosy person so I love to see what people have. I feel like you can tell a lot about a person by what they have in their handbag so I don't know if you could tell anything about me from that but there you go probably that I'm a mess and I don't clean anything ever. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow with another day of Stephanie May and I'm really sorry if I'm like off. I'm just sick. I just am. There's nothing I can do about it. Bye guys, have a lovely rest of your day.